Hi, I'm Ostmeister and I'm going to talk to you about a program called Macro Express. You can download Macro Express from their homepage, macroexpress.com. Uh, it's a 30 day trial. <coughs> you should probably not download it from Pirate Bay, that's illegal. Uh, when, however, you got the program, it looks like this. There are short keys for start capture macro. I never got that to function properly. So this is how I do it. I hit the icon called capture. Then you get this screen here. It, here you can select the short key or you can choose to have no short keys. Short keys are good. So we select one. Capture macro. Bam select a nickname so you know what the macro does scope uh, change the program capture keystrokes <coughs> yes capture mouse relative to screen is what I use window would be awesome but I had I've had lots of problems with that option so I don't do it anymore only capture mouse clicks and no if you do that, you can't drag and drop, and you can't usually use menus and things like that. Capture at actual speed. So then we have program to start capturing. In. This is the program that will be the active one once you hit the short shortcut. And there we have one. Start capture. I just chose Microsoft Word to, as an example. You can make a spam bot, for example, selling shit. make a macro that yeah let's say like that does stuff with the mouse now I can't get this to <laughs> disappear delete rows there we go and then we go down to the right corner find this icon and right click on it and the capture was complete. Now in Macro Express we have this macro we created. We can try to run it. And I'm not touching my mouse or my keyboard, this is Macro Express doing everything. With Micro Express you can do any game that has a simple repetitive task. You can make a macro for it, you can make a macro to spam in the chat, like cell spamming. It's a useful tool if you know how to use it. Here I have problems, couldn't delete that shit. Delete rows and here I stop the macro. Boom. Macro stopped. This macro only runs once as it is now and that's not really what I want. So we need to make it into a loop. You do that by going to the scripting editor. Here on the right you have a list of all the commands that you captured and on the left you have a list of commands you can insert into the macro script and we are going to insert 
two commands. The first one is under timing and then delay. This button to add to the bottom. We want a delay of five seconds, for example. Depending on what you need. Macro control, macro run, add at the bottom. Find the macro you created. So now we added a 5 second delay and after that it will run itself again. So it will restart at the end. Now we save the macro by hitting macro explorer icon and hitting yes. And now it will run until it stops manually. Okay, let's speed things up. The macro had a 5 second delay and then it started again. And it will continue to do this until the end of days. Here, the macro ends. This is very soon. Now it will mouse will go down to the right corner. And here, 5 second delay. And in that time, I stop the macro by right clicking this little running man. You get a pop up. Okay, and the macro is stopped. Now we have a working macro. Thank you for watching and uh, all that.